Hi, this is Anna from Loop. Today I will show you step by step how to set up Loop for your team in 10 minutes or less. When you first log into Loop, this is the view that you see. I've already connected my email account through the sign up process, and I've invited a few team members using this button down here so that they can join me in Loop. So let me add them into the view. I'm going to add John. And I also want to add Grace, who's part of my team. There we go. As you can see, within Loop, you have a full chat platform where you can send direct messages to anyone in your team. Where Loop really shines for teams, though, is when they can collaborate and manage a shared inbox. So let me show you how to connect one. There's a plus sign here that starts the process. I can sign in with Gmail or whichever email provider that's operating my shared email address, and then connect an address such as contact at, sales at, or invoicing at yourcompany.com. As you can see, I can now invite my team. I'll add anyone that helps me manage this shared inbox. Confirm, and go to my shared inbox. So now within Loop, after very easy setup, I have this shared email address that until now we've all had to use separately, with the risk of double replying or missing customer inquiries. Myself and the team I've invited all have access to the shared inbox. I've landed in a chat window where I can message everyone who is managing the shared inbox with any general or logistics questions. But most importantly, under the emails tab, I can already see all the email messages that have come into the shared inbox unless we had previously archived or deleted them before using Loop. As a manager of this team, I can now process these emails and assign them to the most appropriate team member. This one looks like an email I need to handle, so I will assign it to myself. I can write a reply to the customer, replying as myself or as the shared inbox email address. I can also add in a templated response to make the handling of the customer inquiry even faster. And if I need more context or information from my team, I can message them on this specific email thread and ask them for input. My team will see these side messages, but a customer will never know. They only see the external emails that we've sent to them directly. And if I've replied to the customer and solved their inquiry, I can mark this email as resolved. If I need quick access to check on the status of any customer inquiry, I have a lot of options. I can choose to import full email history for this shared inbox, and then I'll have a fully functional search through any past conversations accessible to my whole team. Or I can access a range of different filters to find more information. I can see emails assigned to a specific team member, any open messages that haven't been resolved yet, or new emails that have yet to be assigned and need my attention. As a manager of this shared inbox, I'd prefer to automate some of the workflows for my team. So let me show you how to do that within the settings. Within shared inbox and team settings, I can set up service level agreements with reminders when it comes to replying to a new inquiry or resolving any issues. I can also add rules that automate workflows for incoming or outgoing messages, like making sure that when new emails come in, they get automatically assigned to my team using round robin logic. Or I can filter emails based on sender domain, subject, day of the week, and more, and automate assigning, archiving, resolving, and many more actions. So that's it. My shared inbox is set up for my team the right team members are assigned, and we have a system for handling new customer inquiries. So the only thing that remains is for you to go and connect your own shared inbox. And if you get into any trouble, don't forget that you can chat to our in-app support straight from Loop by starting a conversation with LoopBot. Happy looping.